Hey guys, it's Kevin from Mix Coach. I'm going to show you today how you can make a safety of your vocal as you go. So what we've got is a vocal track and as you can see we've got it assign audio input 1, output 1 and 2. Nothing out of the ordinary there. What we're going to do now though is we're going to actually duplicate this track and since there's no playlist involved it's okay to copy the playlist. And what, I'm going to name this track Vocal Backup. Okay, so now we've got a vocal and a vocal backup. Now I'm going to show you how to record both of these tracks at the same time. The only difference being the audio from this track is going to one drive and the audio to this track is going to another. Okay, let's go to Setup, Disk Allocation, and let's notice that in these tracks, they're both going to the same media folder. Okay, this is your normal session folder and it defaults to that most of the time. I've been caught before, but most of the time it defaults to this. What we want to do on the vocal backup is assign it to another drive. So let's, by clicking these two little arrows here, let's select another folder and let's just go to the archive drive and let's, uh, and let's create a new session called safety vocal name of your session, whatever the name is. So this is basically your backup folder, okay? So when you create this folder, make sure you can find it, but when you create this folder, name it the name of the session and name it backup. And then when you hit open, if you notice, the vocal, this vocal goes to the main drive, this vocal goes to the safety drive, okay? Now, you don't want to go in and put them both in record at the same time or, you know, independently because you may miss it. So what we're going to do now is just highlight both of these and hold Command G, and let's call this uh, vocal, or whatever the name of the session is, so that when you put one in record, the other they both go into record. So you want to solo it, maybe not, but mainly mainly what you want to do is record enable. Okay, we hit OK, and now when you put one in record, they both go into record. One other thing you may want to do, let's turn this off just for a second. One other thing you may want to do is to assign this to a different output. Let's assign it to like a some dead bus here. That way you're not hearing both vocals at the time, same time but you are recording both vocals at the same time. Okay? So that is a hack on how to back up as you go. Hope you find it helpful and I will see you tomorrow.